Right, I've been asked about this um, trapezium question. So, question A, it says, use a single trapezium. I've noticed the person that sent me this to do has actually treated, they've straight away gone in with trapezium rule. But if you read the question, it's saying use a single, sorry, use a single draw. Let's go to draw first, that might help. Right, there we go. Use a single trapezium to find an approximate value of the area of the shaded region. So really what that's saying is you want to use this trapezium here. Imagine that's one trapezium there. Okay, and we've got one pair of parallel sides here and here, which is why it's a trapezium, because these other two aren't parallel. Now our distance between them is 5. The difference between 1, 6 and 1 is 5. Now, to find what um, this height here is and what this height here is, we need our, need our y coordinates when x is 1 and x is 6. So, when x is 1, so we've got y is equal to the natural log of 8 minus 1. So, that's just the natural log of 7. And do the same thing for when x is equal to 6, and we get y equals the natural log of 2. So, here we've got... That's natural log of 7. Here, that would be the natural log of 2. Okay, and so then all we need to do now is do half the sum of the parallel sides times the height between them. So half natural log of 7 plus the natural log of 2 times the height between them, which is 5. Uh, it wants the answer to two decimal places, so you can just pop that in your calculator now and get your answer to two decimal places. Okay, so leave you to do that. If it didn't, you'd have to combine your logs using log A, add log B is the same as log A times B, um, and then raise it to the power of half. Right, right. now shape B is four copies of the region R as above. So basically, you've just got four of these. Right, it's going to be cut from a metal of thickness two millimetres. We'll worry about that later. The metal has a density of 10.5 grams per centimetre cubed. Now we all know density is mass over volume, we should do, so mass over volume, right. So first of all, we need to work out, to find our volume of this shape, this is the cross-sectional area of it, I think, yeah. This is the cross-sectional area of it, and that's cut from metal a thickness of two millimetres. So if you imagine it's going back two millimetres all the way around, like that, okay, with that. So that thickness is two millimetres there. So what we need to do is work out the surface area times the depth. So we need to work out the surface area, right. So we need to work out the area of one of the trapeziums and then times it by four, okay. So, use the trapezium rule with six ordinates to calculate an approximate value of the mass of shape B. Right, so shape B is four of those triangles, sorry, trapeziums. So we've got four of that shape, right? So back to the sort, back to the shape above. Now, you, now is when you use your trapezium rule on this shape, okay? So it says with six, does it say six ordinates? Right, so six ordinates... So that's five strips. So six ordinates means five strips. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five strips. One, two, three, four, five. And we've got six ordinates. One, two, three, four, five, six ordinates. Okay, so you just put your trapezium rule to, it's in your formula book and your trapezium will tell you we've got half of no hang on let me, let me think what it is hang on it's half a plus b plus the half, uh, two times the sum of the rest of them i think you know what would it kill me to have the formula got nothing about and mm, okay i'm pretty sure that's what it is Right, but so you need your distance between your ordinates, so that's h. You need your y zero, which is natural log of seven, as we found before, and your y five in this case. Sorry, y five, which would be the natural log of two. 
And then in your calculator, you need to find y1, y2, y3, and y4. Okay? Alternatively, if you can use table function in your calculator, and you know what your function is, your function is y equals the natural log of 8 minus x, and you're doing it between x is 1 and x is 6, and a width of 1, then that will give you the first one, the last one, and then you add those together, and then 2 times all these. Okay, so once you've done all that, you times it by 4, and that gives you your surface area of this whole shape, not just one of them. And then you're going to times it by 2 millimetres. But you're going to be careful here, because if we look at our density, our density is in centimetres cubed. So millimetres is equal to 0. There's 10 centimetres, 10 millimetres in a centimetre. Why am I struggling with this? So that's 0. 0.2 centimetres. So you're going to times your area that you get by 0 0.2. Okay, let's have a look at all distance measured in centimetres up here. Right, that's okay. So our units are consistent. So you're going to find, use your trapezium rule to find that area. If you can't remember how to use trapezium rule, look back in your book. And then times it by 4 and times it by 0 0.2. That will give you your volume. You've got your density which is 10.5 grams per centimetre cubed. We don't know what the mass is, but you will know what the volume is by then. Okay, so you do 10.5 times your volume, and that will give you the mass, which is what you're after, in grams, which is what we're after, to the nearest gram. Okay, right. If that doesn't make any sense, give me a shout. Let me know. Okay.